what's going on guys it's chaos here welcome back for another video so for today's video we're just going to be getting a nuclear on hunted with the man of war now if you guys want to know what my setup is for the man of war and i run this setup all the time and I, I don't really ever change it period but my setup is elo stock grip and fast max now i run these setup the setup just for accuracy um speed and that's pretty much it. The fast mag just to reload as fast as possible because I'm always in gunfights. Stock to be able to aim around sights and move when I'm aim around corners and move while I'm aiming down sights as fast as possible. And then quick um, grip just for a little bit extra accuracy pretty much. Now, the Man of War actually is probably my best gun as of right now since I've completed the Dark Matter grind and i've been using all the guns again and this is probably my most consistent i probably average about a 4 kd with this gun since um like finishing the dark matter and it's just ridiculous this is probably my favorite gun in the game as of right now because it's so consistent like i don't really necessarily need any other gun except on like smaller maps i, I use a submachine gun obviously but as far as everything goes this is probably my best gun and my favorite gun as of right now and in this video we're going to be talking about how to spawn trap pretty much so when while you're wanting to spawn trap i think either ctf uplink you could also do it in dom but dom is very hard because after so long the spawns will flip regardless but um ctf uplink and um i think demolition are probably the the best spawn trap ma um game modes so as far as you want to, as far as spawn trapping, what you want to do is you want to be in at least a three-man party. If you if you and another another guy are really good and you're good enough to do it, a two-man party is possible, but a three-man party is ideal. So what you want to do is you want to run UAV, Guardian, and the Hater. So pretty much your Guardian is going to be doing nothing but blocking out a spawn. Like down there, I don't have a Guardian to place down there on that little um back walkway right there yeah i normally place a guardian right there this way they don't spawn they just spawn out in front of me down the street pretty much and they just run to me and just feed me see that that right there is the most ideal way to spawn trap this map is basically let the people feed you your kills pretty much like don't let them run out or anything like that you just want them to feed you pretty much they, you don't want them to be behind you like right there you don't want them coming um coming in like four different directions you want them to come one one simple way and you want them to feed you like up top right now i'm watching this down here i'm watching the back walkway and then i'm watching this street and then uh we have another guy up top pretty much watching the other main walkway and then the back um alley in the cave pretty much so once that's all blocked off and everything's being like pretty much down to two different, just two same directions, it's pretty much as simple as possible. You, you got everybody just coming in two ways and it's real easy just to aim down sights and just pick them off as they come around pretty much. It makes, the, it makes spawn trapping so much simpler. Now once you have everything set up and you get killed off your streak, you have to pretty much get over there as fast as possible once again just to get back in the same spot. Because once they start flooding out, it's very hard to get back into the, um, your same little groove. But you honestly can't really just jump into this with just anyone. You need people that actually know what they're doing, that actually know, um, that can learn where the spawns are at, that can be, um, that are fast and they know, they're really good on their, um, like, thinking-wise. And they they pay attention to their map a whole lot. See, me, when I play, I pay attention to, my, right there is where I picked up the nuke. Me, when I play, I pay attention to my map probably 70% of the time, 80% of the time, just because whenever someone shoots or anything, that's where I know, because like right there, that's how I knew that guy was behind me. That's how I know when these people are spawning down here on this um, little walkway or whatever. It's all map awareness. You have to pay attention to your map as much as possible. And sometimes it does screw you, honestly, because like I, sometimes I do pay attention to my map way too much and it ends up getting me killed because I don't see a guy out in front of me or something. But um, I hope these tips really help you guys. If they do, make sure you smash that like button for me. But be sure we get, to go like check said, out my previous video. Stuff yeah, my previous now, video we got the storm is my best class setup for the, um, my CUDA. CUDA. I'm pretty sure and then go check the out the random video the CUDA, if you so get that's a not chance. Even that but that's going to be all for this one, guys. Be Let's sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you already aren't. Okay, Peace. now we got the, the future for the profit. War torn for um, the ICR. I don't use the ICR that much. I really don't like the gun. But war torn is 